Hi, this is Ivan Philipson of Wild Latitudes Birding and Nature Tours. Today I'm going to talk about cleaning your binoculars or your bins, your binos, your binoculares in Espanol. It is very important to clean your binoculars. A lot of stuff gets in there when we're out birding and enjoying nature. We get dust and rain and all kinds of stuff in there. So we do need to clean them. Um, you know, for example, these need to be cleaned because I didn't clean them prior to a really big trip I just took to South America. I went to Ecuador and Peru. I was birding, guiding, exploring, and these things got really dirty along the way. So it's time to clean them. But the catch is with cleaning your binoculars is that you don't want to do it very often. And the reason is because the lenses are coated with a very thin layer of material few molecules thick on the lenses and the outside and the inside, at least with mid-range to higher binoculars, there's, there are these coatings. Um, but what they do is they, they allow for a greater transmission of light through the lenses. Less reflection, more transmission. That means a brighter image for you, better colors. It's really important. It is also possibly why your binoculars cost a few dollars is if you have the nice coatings on your lenses. So you want to preserve those coatings. You want them to last a long time. You don't want to mess them up. Cleaning has the potential to mess up those coatings. So that's the catch is you don't want to A, clean your binoculars incorrectly and you don't want to do it very often no matter how you do it. Okay, so let's talk about the actual steps of doing that. So what you want to do first is you want to get off the dust. Dust is your enemy. Dust can scratch those very fancy coatings. So let's get the dust off. Let's use a couple tools. One being this very exciting squeeze bulb. It's like a toy. It's fun. It reduces stress as well. So you, uh, you want to use this to get dust off because you're not touching the lenses. That's nice. You're not damaging anything. You're just blowing off the dust that's loose on the surface, hoping that that gets a lot of it off. Now I'm tilting the binoculars down like this so that as dust is being removed, it's falling away rather than right back onto the lens. Okay, great. So now I'm going to use another tool to get more dust off. The also pretty awesome and exciting lens pen designed for camera lenses, but great for this also. It has a little retractable brush, which is very exciting. It's uh, kind of like a lightsaber. Now we're going to actually touch the lenses. This brush is very soft, so it's appropriate for this task. Now we're going to tilt the lenses down and just gently brush around, removing the dust, hopefully getting all of it. Brushing, brushing, getting away the dust. Lots of fun. Okay, so, you know, there'll always be some, some stragglers, but it's looking pretty good, so I'm going to move on. The next step is to now actually wipe the lenses. So what I have here is a microfiber cloth. Microfiber cloth is much better than some other materials because this is so soft. It's designed for camera lenses, for binoculars, things like this. It's less likely to do lasting damage to your binoculars than other materials. So you want to use something like this. And I'm going to use it in conjunction with some lens cleaner, this solution here. And this solution is designed, again, for optics. This is what you want to use. You don't want to be like, oh, I've got some glass cleaner under the sink, Windex. Don't use that. You want to use something like this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a little spritz like that. I don't want to use a whole lot, just a little bit. And now I'm going to gently wipe the lenses. Removing water spots, things like that, that have... Uh, persisted on there for a long time. So, you know, I'm just going to spend a short amount of time doing this. I'm not going to push too hard. I'm not going to do it for a half an hour. Just, just a little bit. I'm just doing the bare minimum to return these binoculars to their, their former glory. 
get them in working order, and we'll call it good. All right, so that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. All right. You know, so looking through, now these ocular lenses are still dirty, so it doesn't look great yet, but got to clean this end. Now the thing with this end is that, you know, you're often wearing your binoculars like this. Mine are often on my side, because that's, you know, how you wear it if you want to be cool. And stuff gets down in there, right? Um, they're like little traps for debris raining down into your binoculars. Now, I know, I know what you're thinking. Yes, they make those caps that go on here that would prevent things from getting in there. It's true, and if those work for you, that's great. They don't work well for me. I hate them. I've had bad luck. They, they pop off at inopportune times. They flop around, get in my face, and I just don't like them, so I chuck them. And I pay the price, stuff gets in there. So now I have to clean them, it's not terrible. These, on the other hand, these work pretty well. When I'm traveling, I cover up the lenses, you know, these things are, are good. Okay, so in any case, I'm gonna repeat the process with these. I don't need to show you that, you get the basic idea. You know, blow out the dust, um, use the lens pen, go ahead and wipe them and get them all cleaned up. So a couple things though about what not to do when cleaning your binoculars. You do not want to use this. Don't use your t-shirt, okay? I know you want to. You're out there running around, you're busy, there's birds everywhere, things are happening, but the t-shirt will scratch your lenses. Um, if it's a really old, very soft t-shirt that's very clean. It's not the end of the world. I've done that. I've used a t-shirt like that, but I really strongly recommend carrying at least, if nothing else, a microfiber cloth and a lens pen. This would be like your minimal kit. Otherwise, also take the cleaning solution, a little bulb if you want. And if you have those in your bag, you can do this process in the field as long as there's not you know, lots of dust around in the area. So don't use your t-shirt. Don't spit on your lenses and use that and rub it all around. That stuff can gum things up. You don't want to do that. I mentioned not using other kinds of cleaners. You also don't want to use Kleenex and paper towels. Paper like that can really scratch your lenses. It's made out of ground up wood, right? So don't use that. Um, you know, there's, there's lens tissues that could work made for camera optics. Those are acceptable, but you know, use stuff that's designed for this. These, these are expensive items. They're very important. They're your most important tool as a birder. And so you want to take care of them and have them for a long time. And if you take care of your lenses, then you will, and you will see lots of cool stuff and life will be glorious. I promise you. Okay. So that's that cleaning binoculars. If you like videos like this, uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Certainly like the video. That would be helpful. If you like birding and nature tours and things like that, then please check out Wild Latitudes on the internet at wildlatitudes.com. Thanks, see you next time.